YouTubers, Robert Llewellyn reporting. A bit of an update. Uh, it's been um, far too long since I've put a video up and uh, uh, that's because I haven't been here. I'm at home today. It's Sunday. It's lovely. It's hot. It's a classic English summer. And I've just been uh, watering my spuds. They're doing quite well this year. Very pleased with my potatoes. Um, I'm off to America soon. At the end of August I'm going to Seattle and I'm appearing on uh, KTCS, that's it, KTCS 9, I think that's Channel 9 in Seattle, uh, for a Red Dwarf 20th anniversary special that they're running there. And after that, I don't know where I'm going, I might be going to Vancouver or San Francisco just for a couple of days, and then uh, I'm going to Atlanta, to Dragon Con, uh, over the August holiday thing. I don't quite know what that is. Um, so I'll be in Atlanta uh, over the, uh, the end of the very last three days of August, which is I've never been before. I believe it's quite warm in the summer in Atlanta, so if there are any Atlantans watching and they can uh, update me on the daily temperature in downtown Atlanta, I'd be very grateful, though I think I'm going to be inside an air-conditioned convention hall for most of the time I'm there. Um, so that's fun, but at the moment I'm zipping around doing this. <laughs> This. Fuck. Fuck. And I haven't really had time to film anything else, but it's all been fairly terrifying, let me tell you that. And really exciting too, but it has been very difficult. For instance, this week, brilliant example, um, on uh, Friday night, I thought, oh, whoopee, I've got Tuesday off. And Wednesday, two days off. And there's some friends of ours coming over from Australia to stay with us, and it was really nice, so I'd be able to see them. Then on Friday afternoon, I get a call to say, um, you've got to be in Malaga in Spain on Tuesday to drive the biggest bulldozer in the world. And that's all good, isn't it? That's great. What fun to fly to southern Spain and drive around in the biggest bulldozer in the world. And that's what I call glamour. I'm very lucky and very privileged and very tired at the moment. But it's all good. And I will uh, finish these two new shows I'm doing. One is called How Do They Do It, which I've done two series of already. And one is called Top Trumps, and they both start in September on Channel 5, as far as I can tell, and Discovery. And so they will be um, viewable in America, I think, on the Discovery Channel. Quite a lot of it will be. And they're brilliant fun. Um, and I've also been shooting some carpools, but not as many as I wished I had. But it is weird, because you think, this is 23 years, I think, in the doing this job. Yeah. Um, the same with you, isn't it? And some of the, it's there's be, been a yeah. batch of time because I haven't had time, but that's what I'm going to launch that in September on Lootube, my new channel which still doesn't exist yet but is being designed. It's all those things that never quite happen, do they? But this one will, this one will. And then last night I watched um, Who Killed the Electric Car, which I should have watched years ago. And it is interesting that a lot of my opinions, which have been formed purely by experience of seeing a BMW hydrogen fuel cell car there that cost a million pounds, and seeing a little electric car over there that cost nothing like that much. And I thought, that looks to me, the electric one looks to me like it could be the answer. And the hydrogen one I was always suspicious of, because I thought, wait a minute, that means we've got to buy hydrogen, which is very expensive and difficult stuff to make. And who's going to produce the hydrogen? Companies that we may have heard of already, like Exxon, BP, Shell. And what does that mean? That means they still own the means of... They still own, the, they still own everything. And what the movie does, for those of you who haven't seen it, not giving anything away, is it proves pretty irrefutably that the main reason we're not all driving around in electric cars now, which if the technology exists, no big deal. They go as far as we want them to go. They go very fast if you want them to go fast. They're very efficient. Even if you charge an electric car in a, using a Chinese coal-fired, unfiltered power station, their output of CO2 per mile, even considering that, is minuscule in comparison with the cleanest, most efficient, most beautifully engineered, for example, hybrid car. They still put out less CO2, so, you know. Why haven't we all got electric cars? Because the petrol, petrochemical industry doesn't want us to have them, because if we use electric cars, what don't we do? We don't buy petrol. There's 100 trillion barrels of oil still to be developed uh, within easy reach of the oil companies, and a barrel of oil is what is it now? It'll be $200 a barrel very soon. I can't do the maths, but $100 trillion, $200 is got to be a lot of money. 
that means there's a lot of power, that means there's a lot of influence, that means that they're not going to let you drive an electric car whether you want to or not. And all the arguments that people come, come to, the, the classic, the, you know, all the top gear arguments, all the things about electric cars not being that good, have all been fed into the media for 30 years by the automotive industry and the petrol chem petrochemical companies to prove to us that they're not any good. And it's just now starting, companies outside the motor manufacturers are just starting to do things like the Tesla, like the Venturi, even the G Wiz, even those funny little things, you know, they are starting to make electric cars that do the job and people drive them and go, this is good. And if you see that movie and General Motors made an electric car that was perfectly good for say 90% of the American population, that's a great line. This car is only any use to 90% of the population of the United States, you know. You go, yeah, I want one, I'd buy one tomorrow. You couldn't buy them. They wouldn't let you buy them. They wouldn't even let you keep them if you'd lease them. It's an extraordinary story. And it's not a conspiracy theory. It's not underhand, backhanded, secret meetings. It's quite public. The petrochemical industry want to make money out of oil. Why shouldn't they? That's their business. And if you try and do something different and stop buying their oil, they'll close it down. They're not going to kill anyone or secretly shoot people. There's no, no jackals sent out, no born identity hitmen going to kill people who try and develop other things. They either buy it, which there's plenty of evidence of, or they close down the system. The reason there were electric cars in California, and I remember seeing them when I visited, was that there was a, 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 an air pollution act passed in California by the state legislature to encourage the car manufacturers to produce cars that pumped out less toxic fumes because all the kids were ill. You know, and there was lots of examples of uh, respiratory problems, and the automotive industry didn't want to do it. So they put pressure on that you cannot imagine. We can't even imagine what that kind of pressure is like on the, uh, on the political system in California, and they repealed the act. And what will happen, you'll see, when the pressure really mounts and people start to buy more hybrid cars, the cost of oil will plummet. It will halve overnight, which is what happened last time. The Saudis dropped the price of oil because they could see people weren't going to buy as much. There's a helicopter flying around now that's using a great deal of oil-based product. And a plane. That's my neighbour who's just flying in. <laughs> he doesn't use a car. <laughs> He's not that concerned about hybrid technology. Hello! <laughs> yes. He's a very nice man though, apparently. I've never met him. He lives just over there. So he's probably coming into land. It could be Google Street View's new helicopter. I'm sure it says Google on the side. Uh, how annoying. Anyway, that's too noisy. If you have been YouTubers, thank you for watching.